In this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the equation of a straight line in slope intercept form when they give us two points. Okay, so we know by now that slope intercept form is when you have it as y equals to mx plus c. Some schools would also say y equals to mx plus b. B. There are other letters you can use. It doesn't really matter. But what we've said so far is that this letter in the front is the slope and this letter over here is the y-intercept. Okay, now I've showed you, well, up till now I've showed you different ways of how you can find the slope-intercept form. But now in this lesson we're going to learn how to do it when they give you the two points. So let's say they give us two points. So point one is this one over here, and then point two is this one over here. So what you need to use, or what we need to be able to do, is to find the slope. So to find the slope, we use this formula over here. So it goes m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is a formula that allows you to calculate the slope, which is the m. Okay, you might also call it the gradient. So it's quite an easy formula to use, but you just have to be very careful. So here's how it works. It says that we must take the y value of point number two. So we go to point number two, which would be this one over here. Okay, so that's that one. So I'm going to highlight that over there. Then there's a negative and then it says the y value of point number one. So the y value of point number one would be this one, so that would go there. Then it's the x value of point number two, so that one's over there and over there. And then the x value of point number one, which is over there, and so that would go there. Okay, so you just have to make sure that you fill that in in the correct way. What is completely wrong is if you do y2 minus y1 and then at the bottom you switch it around. That's completely wrong, okay? Another question that learners always ask me is, does it matter which one's point 1 and point 2? Not at all. You could have made this one your point 2 and this one your point 1. That doesn't matter, okay? Um, but I'm just keeping it as like that for now. So let's go fill in the values. So we're going to go m equals, now we're going to fill in the 8. And then what you do is you put a minus, okay? Then it's the y value of point number one, which is a four. Then it's the x value of point number two, and then you put a minus, and then this one is also a minus. So just put it there like that. That's absolutely fine. You could then go type that on the calculator exactly like that, or if you would like to, you could first fix this up. The calculator would do it for you, but let's just fix it up anyways like that. And so what we'd end up with now is 4 at the top, 4 at the bottom, which is 1. So that's fantastic. We now have our slope. So what we can then do is we can say y is equal to, now we know the slope is 1x plus c. Now, if you've watched any of the previous lessons on how to find the value of c at this moment, then you'll know exactly what we're about to do. If you haven't, let me explain. So what we would do now is you are allowed to choose whether you want to look at point number one or whether you want to look at point number two. It does not matter at all. You're going to get the same answer. So I'm just going to choose point number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go plug those points into the equation. So I know that minus seven is an x value. Four is a y value. So I put it in like that. And so what we do then is we say 4 equals to 1 times by minus 7 plus c. And so 4 is equal to negative 7 plus c. You then get the c value by itself, which is 11, because I took that minus 7 over to the left. So then you end up with a final answer of y equals to 1x, because that's what we found as our slope, plus 11. And that is the answer. Now we are just going to practice this a few more times. So here it says determine the slope intercept equation. So they've given us point 1 and point 2. So we can write out our little formula for the slope, which goes like this. Then we know that the general formula or the, 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 the formula for slope intercept goes like this. 
Once again, remember that M is your slope, or you could call it the gradient. C is the Y intercept. So once again, the formula says that we take the Y value of point number two, which is this one over here. Then we take the Y value of point number one, which is this one over here. Then it says the X value of point number two, which is that one there. And then the X value of point number one, which would be that one over there. So then you just go fill it all into that formula. So you'd say M equals to five minus 10 over minus two minus, and then there's another minus seven. So don't worry about that part over there. You could go type this in on your calculator exactly like that and you'd end up with a slope of negative one. So we can now go full in the slope as negative one. Now, can you remember how to find the C value? Well, what you do is you choose a point and you can choose either point number one or you can choose point number two. It does not make a difference. So let's say we choose point number two. You go plug the minus two as the X value and then you choose the five as the Y value. So then you go pull that all in. So five equals to negative one times by negative two plus C. That'll be five equals to two plus C. Take the two over so it becomes five minus two. So C is three. So then what we have is Y equals to minus one X plus three as the answer. Here comes another example. We still have another two examples. So we're gonna do this one and then we're gonna do the next one. So here they say determine the slope intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus c. Once again, m is the slope, c is the y intercept. So to find the slope, we use that formula again, where y2 is the y value of point number two, which is there. y1 is the y value of point number one. x2 is the x value of point number two and then x1 is the x value of point number one. And so now we just go for all of that, all of that in, so that's gonna be 15 minus five over minus two minus three. And if we had to work this out, this would give us minus two. So now we have our slope as minus two. Then to find c, you just choose a random point. So I'm gonna choose point number one. So we know that this is the X value, so that goes there. And then this is the Y value, so that goes over there. So then we say five equals to minus two times three plus C. So then five will be equal to negative six plus C. So C would be equal to five plus six, which becomes 11. So the final answer for this one would be Y equals to minus two X plus 11. Here's our last example for this video. So here's number three. So they want the slope intercept form. So it's y equals to mx plus c. m is the slope. Why do I keep repeating this? It's just because I really want you guys to understand it and to remember it. I don't have like memory loss. I know I'm telling you that all, the whole time. I just want you guys to be able to remember it. Okay, so to find the slope, we're using this formula, which by now I think you guys are probably doing pretty well with here. You're probably understanding it quite nicely. So remember the Y value of point number two, so we can go this one, and then it's the X value. I mean the Y value of point number one, so that would be this one over here. Then it's the X value of point number two, which is that one there and then the X value of point number one, which would be that one over there. And so let's go for everything in. So it's three minus minus one. So I just, you see that there was a minus there or a negative. So I don't panic or do anything. I just write it down as it is. And then it's negative two, take away three. Go ahead, type that on the calculator exactly as it is. If there's a negative and a negative, just type it in. The calculator can handle it. And this one gives us negative four, over five. Ah, so now we're getting a fraction in the slope, which is fine. So you just put the X like that. Now, once again, to find C, you just choose a point. So I'm going to choose, uh, I'll choose 
this one. So the negative two is the x value, so we put that over there. The three is a y value, so we'll put that over there. And so that's going to give us three equals to negative four over five, and then the x value is negative two. Then this here, it doesn't look really nice, eh? so I'll just type that in my calculator, just like that. So I'll say negative four over five multiplied by negative two, and that's just going to give us positive eight over five, like that. Then to get c by itself, I just take this eight over five to the left, so it ends up being three minus eight over five, and so c is equal to, now this I just do on the calculator, and that's going to be seven over five. So then the final answer would be y equals to negative four over five x plus seven over five. Kevin, is it okay if we leave the answer with a fraction? Yes, you have to. If it's a slope intercept form, then you leave it just like that, where the y value is completely by itself.